Welcome to Lecture Online, and now next we're going to start talking about Maxwell's equations in the differential form. And this is one of the ways in which we can do that. There's other forms as well, but let's start with this one right here, and we'll talk about the elements later. And so you can see that they're still the same four equations, and in some respects you see some similarity. Here, remember that we had the surface integral of e dot dA that was going to be equal to the charge enclosed divided by epsilon sub naught. So here, instead of having charge enclosed, we have charge density divided by epsilon sub naught. And here we have what we call the divergence of E. The divergence is kind of like a differential, and that's why we call that the differential form. So divergence is like taking the derivative of this electric field with respect to the x, the y, and the z axis. And we'll show you later how that's done. So that's why we call it the, the, the divergence. We have the same thing here. If we take the divergence of the magnetic field, whoop, and misspell that here, of the magnetic field, notice we always get zero. Just like before, when we had the surface integral, we took a, a Gaussian surface, put it around a certain magnet, or put it around a certain portion of the magnetic field, and then if we integrated the strength of the field at anywhere along the surface, and then we went ahead and uh, integrated that over the entire surface, we would find that there's always equal to zero because there's no such thing as a monopole magnetic, causal magnetic field anywhere in the universe. Then the third and fourth equation, instead of using the divergence, we use what we call the curl. Now the curl is like a cross between taking a cross product and integrating around a circular path. So we will see later mathematically how we do that, but again, the idea is the same. If there's a change in magnetic field, you're going to have the presence of an EMF along a circular path. That's why this is called a curl. And therefore, as we go around the circle path, we can see that there'll be a potential difference, and this is caused by the change in the magnetic field. Again, that's the general concept here, and that's why we call this the curl, and we'll mathematically show you how to do that. We'll take each of these equations one at a time and show exactly how to calculate it and how to use the physical interpretation of what that really is. And then finally, same with the magnetic field. If we take the curl of the B field, again, if we integrate around, uh, along a, a curved path, the B field will sum up to be equal to the charge inside, or I shouldn't say the charge, the moving charge, or the current inside times mu sub naught, or also be can be caused by changing electric field or changing electric flux through a loop. And so again, this is called a curl, and it's kind of like I said, the cross between taking a cross product and integrating around a loop. So those are the four equations in differential form. In the next so many videos, we'll go through each one separately and explain exactly where that came from, what the divergence is, how to take a divergence of an electric field, how to take the divergence of a magnetic field, or how to take the curl of electric field or take the curl of a magnetic field and then physically what do those things really mean and then you'll see there's so much similarity between this and the integral form of the equation. It is true that for some equations, for some situations, it might be easier to use these equations. In other situations, it may be easier to use the integral form of the equation. You'll see when to use which. All right, so there's a start. If you go to the next video, you'll see how we actually use each one of those equations.